In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first pausing for a while. Call to mind all our sins and failures, and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage in battle and camp at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camp at Ape. The Philistines then drew up in a battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh, that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grabs of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there, the ark of the Lord host, who is enthroned upon the cherubim, the thousands of Eli, Hopni and Peninas, were at the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. He said, God, have come to their camp. They also said, Woe to us! This has never happened before. Woe to us! Who can deliver us from the power of this mighty God? These are the gods and instruct the Egyptians with various plagues and pestilence. Take courage by manly Philistines, otherwise you will become slaves to the Hebrews, as they were your sleep, so fight manfully. The Philistines fought and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat, in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured, and Eli's two sons, Hopni and Penihas, were among the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Yet now you have cast off and put us in disgrace, and you go not forth with our armies. You have let us be driven back our host, those who hated us, Plundered, plundered us at will. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. You made us the reproach of our neighbors, the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us by word among the nations and laughing stocks among the peoples. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our woe and our oppression? 
for our souls are bowed down to the dust, our bodies are praised to the earth. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Please stand. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That'll be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Paano ba tayo magdasal? Ano ano mga mga sinasabi natin sa Diyos kapag nagdadasal tayo? Malamang, hindi naman siguro na tayo magugulat kung sasabihin ko na madalas ang dasal natin ay paghingi, no? Paghingi ng tulong, paghingi ng paggaling sa pagsakit, sa sakit, paghingi ng uh, solusyon sa problema, paghingi ng pera, paghingi ng trabaho, paghingi ng boyfriend or girlfriend. Lahat ay paghingi, madalas. Hindi man sinasabing palagi. Paminsan-minsan, Nagpupuri din siguro tayo, pero madalas humihingi tayo. Pero whether kahit ang hihingi tayo o nagpupuri tayo, we can learn something from a particular way that the leper in the gospel prayed to Jesus or talked to Jesus. He prayed with humility. Diba? Mayroong pagpapakumbaba ang paglapit ng leper kay Jesus. Paano na, bakit natin nasabi? Kasi he begged, nagmakaawa, yung leper nagmakaawa for healing. Dalawang sides yun, nagmakaawa siya, ibig sabihin talagang desperado na siya, no? Wala nang wala pa namang gamot sa leprosy ng panahon na yun. So desperado siya, gusto gusto na niyang maka-integrate maka, uh, with the community. Pero hindi siya maka-integrate kasi meron siyang leprosy. So, Desperado na siya, wala na siyang mapuntahan. So, he comes to Jesus with humility. Humility. But also, it may tell us that he knew who Jesus was. Kilala na niya, nakila, nagkaroon na siya ng idea, na, na nakarinig na siya ng mga balita tungkol ko Jesus and <coughs> how Jesus would heal the sick. So, meron na siyang idea kung sino yung Jesus, ano ang kaya ni Jesus gawin. And to consider that, tapos i-consider niyo yung sarili, ito si Jesus, kaya magpagaling ng mga sakit, kaya magpa-drive out ang demons, samantalang ito siya isang leper. So, ang laki ng agwat, di ba? So, he was humble. He was true to himself. Totoo siya sa sarili niya. At totoo siya sa pagkakilala niya kay Jesus. He was humble. Kaya nga, makikita natin sa kanyang pagsabi kay Jesus, paglapit niya kay Jesus, Anong unang, unang-unang sabi niya? If you wish. Sobrang humble, di ba? If you wish. 
tayo, sasal natin, di ba laging, Lord, pengi naman na ganito, Lord, masama yung pakramdam na ganito, may sakit si ganyan, Lord, kailangan kong trabaho, diretsyo, <laughs> diretsyahan, wala nang, wala nang pasintabi. Pero itong leper, dahil sa kanyang humility, dahil kilala niya kung sino siya, at sino siya sa harap ni Jesus, no? Inumpisa niya ang kanyang dasal, ang kanyang pagkausap kay Jesus by saying, If you wish. If you wish. Siguro ganun din dapat ang mga dasal natin. Persistent, yes. Sige, makulit, no? Sabi din sa ibang gospel text, kulitin natin ang Diyos kung meron tayong pangailangan, no? Maging makulit. Pero, at maging hopeful. Umasa. Magtiwala, umasa na nakikinigan Diyos. Pero, magiging humble. Hindi, pa, hindi tayo pwede mag-demanda. Hindi pwede natin sabihin sa Diyos, ganitong gusto ko, ganitong kulay, ganitong size, ganitong, you know, very specific na, ito lang, hindi pwede iba. Hindi. Why? Eh, mas nakakalaman Diyos eh. Alam ng Diyos kung ano yung talagang makakabuti sa atin. Makakaroon humingi tayo ng bahay. Gusto natin, Lord, sana palasyo, mala palasyo, no? nasa, nasa magandang area. Ang bibigil lang natin isang bungalow na maliit sa isang, isang ordinary area. Hihirit pa ba tayo? Siyempre, hindi na. Why? Because God knows best. Mas alam ng Diyos ang ating pangailangan at kung ano ang makakabuti sa atin. Pero isa pang sinabi sa gospel, so humility, you know, humility. When we ask God, when we pray to God, pray and ask with humility. Persistent, hopeful, but humble. Isa pang sinabi na nakita natin sa gospel, na gusto ni Jesus, ang sagot kasi ni Jesus noong tinanong, tinanong siya ng leper, if you wish, sabi ni Jesus, I do will it. Gusto. Gusto ni Jesus na mapagaling, mapabuti yung kalagayan ng leper. Gusto ng Diyos na masagot yung ating mga dasal. Gusto ng Diyos ang kung ano man yung makakabuti para sa atin. Kasi minsan, yung dasal natin ay hindi makakabuti para sa atin. Tao lang. Nagkakamali. Hindi natin alam talaga kung, kung ano talaga pinakamabuti para sa atin. Alam natin yung gusto natin pero not necessarily yung makakabuti sa atin. So, si, si Jesus, He says to the, to the leper, I do will it. Gusto ko. Gusto kong gumaling ka. Gusto kong mapaayos yung katawan mo. And as soon as He willed it, nung ginusto ni Jesus, gumaling na yung leper immediately. Agad-agad. Dahil siguro, malamang, yun ang makakabuti para dun sa leper sa mind ng mind ni Jesus. Yun ang makakabuti para sa leper. So, ginawa ng, ginawa ng Diyos kung ang makakabuti sa leper immediately. In this particular case, immediately. Pero sa atin, hindi laging immediately, di ba? Minsan-minsan, nag-aantay tayo na matagal. Minsan, hanggang matapos ang buhay natin, hindi pa rin dumarating yung hinihiling natin. Baka hindi para sa atin. So, yun ang sagot. Sinagot pa rin tayo ang sagot, hindi yan para sa'yo. Jesus, God continues always, always listens to our prayers and answers them in His own way, in His own time. Alam mo natin, narinig, I'm sure narinig na niya, na niya yung reflection na yan, no? God answers all our prayers, but in His own way, in His own time. Hindi tayo pwede maging masyado mapili. So, tanong natin sa ating sarili, do we have faith enough? Enough ba yung ating faith to accept God's answers to our prayers? Si Mara, hinihingi natin ay kanan, bibigay ng Diyos kaliwa. Do we have the faith to accept ito yung gusto ng Diyos para sa akin, tatanggapin ko na buong puso? Do we have faith? Okay, ang sagot eh, hindi para sa'yo, Do we have faith to accept that this is not what God wants for us? What God wills for us? What is best for us? Pagkatapos mapagaling ni Jesus yung leper, sabi ni Jesus, ni Jesus sa kanya, 
Ang instruction, show yourself to the priest. Offer the sacrifice prescribed by Moses so they would know. Kasi mayroon mga prescriptions, mayroon mga seven commands ng ceremonial cleansing para ma-ratify, na para masabi ng mga mga officers ng temple, o oh, magaling ka na nga, ito nga ay ginawa ng Messiah. Merong mga steps, no? Sabi niya, gawin mo yan. Ano siya ano siya sabi sa atin? Even when God answers our prayers many times, God answers our prayers according to nature. Hindi kinakailangan laging milagro. Minsan, o madalas, according to nature. Hindi kayo na kailangan mag-delay mo o magkaroon ng sinag ng araw ng, at may boses palagi na magka, magkakausap sa iyo. Hindi laging ganun. Madalas ang sagot ng Diyos, ang, ang response ng Diyos sa atin is through natural things. Through natural things. So, so ngayon, sa ating situation ngayon, marami tayong pwede ipagdasal, no? Marami tayong pagdasal. Pwede tayong magdasal na sana matapos na yung ating pinagdadaanan na COVID pandemic, no? Tumatas na mga numbers. Sana matapos ng lahat. Sa buong mundo, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, no? Sa buong mundo. Sana matapos ng pandemic. Sana rin, sa darating na election, maging peaceful, maging honest, at mahalal yung nararapat para sa tamang posisyon. Sana, no? Dasal natin. Dasal din natin na sana maliwanagan tayo ng Espiritu Santo na mapili natin kung sino sa tingin natin pagkatapos natin pag-aralan, sino ta- pa- pa- ta- pagkatapos natin kilalanin yung mga kandidato, sino talaga yung karapat dapat magiging effective as a person for that post. Hilingin natin ang tulong ng Espiritu Santo para matulungan tayong mamili. But at the end, at the end of all that prayer, sana masabi natin, if you wish. Lord, if you wish. At sa kahit ano pang dasal na gagawin natin, sana tatapusin natin palagi, if you wish. If you wish. Let us stand down and offer to God all our prayers, believing in the Lord's compassion. We approach our Heavenly Father with confidence that our prayers will be answered. And after each petition, we say, Father of mercies, hear us. Father of mercies, hear us. That the Church may never fail in her duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear us. That our government may deliver quality health programs and intensify their efforts in promoting healthy environments, let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear us. That we as a community may reach out with love and care to those who are ignored by society, let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear us. That the poor and the sick may find medical attention and support from kind-hearted people, let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear us. That those who have died in Christ may live in the true freedom and happiness of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear us. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear us. Merciful Father, deepen our spirit of compassion and understanding for those who suffer. May we model our lives after Jesus, who sought freedom, healing, and peace for every person. We make our prayer through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us suffer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, mercy have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, Lord not I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray for the forthcoming elections, that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies and all distortion of truth deliver us lord from bribery graft and all conspiracy for fraud deliver us lord from threats intimidation and perverse language deliver us lord let us pray together hear us lord hear us lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm hear us lord 
that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Ingat tayo, konti ingat pa, lalo sa ating health, no? Maraming nagsisipon, bubo. Ingat tayo, mag-protect natin yung sarili natin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Now bless the sick and your religious articles. Or help us in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>